Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim and we're going to be doing Area 3, Wave 3. Um, we did a destruction last episode as well. So I did do one fight uh, in between episodes so that I could get Fuyusaka back and ready. All I did was I just went to the first battle here and just did a quick one. Um, I didn't want to do anything intense so um, I just chose to do something very very quick and easy with four characters and just wrecked face. It was, it was kind of fun. <laughs> so we need Sekigahara, and we need Fuyusaka. Um, we'll take Let's you... Go. Hold on, what, what are we looking at here? Horde of Long Range Kaiju. Okay. Let's also bring Miura. And both of you, because you can move. So two quick movers to get towards those long rangers, and then two long rangers ourselves who can just attack them from pretty well far away. And then there's you two. Okay, clear without a sentinel being immobilized. Wonder if Miss Morimura is watching from somewhere. Unfortunately. She's no longer with Oh wow, her. a confirmation that she's what? dead, huh? Oh no. We're lucky to be alive ourselves. I see. You're right. Anything could happen. We still need to figure out how that happened, Akun, too. When this fight's over, let's go somewhere, okay? Just the two of us? We can go on your motorcycle, take a beach trip, or or anything you want. Even if we get reborn as totally different people. I'd still find you again, Akun. So... Then it's settled. I'll take you. That's a promise, okay? So it seems like in some cases, like, characters who in previous incarnations, they end up with each other anyways, and then in other cases they kind of break from that. That's kind of interesting thing to explore, I think. It's kind of fun seeing that, like, uh, they may have inclinations towards some of the same people, like Fuyusaka and Juro. Obviously, like, they feel connections with each other, uh, because, like, previous versions of them have also felt connections to each other. And, like, I don't know, it's just kind of fun. F kind of fun and interesting. Okay. Don't wait. What's optimal? Let's go, Natsuno. Stay okay, both cool. of my G3s are kind of on the same side, so I'm going to move you Number this nine. way. Hey, we can Commence do this. Okay. I keep my spirits up. Let's have you... Oh, we're, like, on the edge. So, frankly, you should probably come here. Number 17, I gotta do this. Number 15, Don't moving up. out. Number 11, now moving out. out. Number 22, no advancing. No fight, I can't win. Number 21 on the move. What's our plan? As long as I can keep this thing moving. No room for hesitation. Oh, right. My turn now. Fall. Oh. How was that? Stay on guard. Good timing. Offline. Where are they? Okay. Let's go, Natsuno. Yes. I won't back nope. up. I gotta do this. Here goes. Yes. I did it? Where are oh, they? Like Enemy on the no fight. Look. Don't let up. They're finished. My turn now. What's our plan? You're the only one with an EMP, huh? Okay. Um, Yuki's leg spike oh. should be useful here. Good. I'm the big guy. Still not What's our plan? As long as I can keep this thing moving. Okay, let's make sure... Hold on. Can we get behind you? Yes, we can. Make sure we're getting the carrier. Die! How's that? Stay calm. Remember your training. Here we go. Take that! Now then. Hit. Here's how my Come on. 
No room for hesitation. Gonna be okay. Definitely. Hold up! How's that? Here comes. Don't that? waste any chances. I think you get ready for whatever Number this 11. is. Okay. Out. What's the plan? And you are gonna go after this one over here. Okay, let's do this. That do it? No room for hesitation. I've gotta do this. That only hits one. So, how do I keep you safe here? Can I get you? No, you can't go very far with that. Tell where the damn thing's back is. There we go. Jesus. How's the sentinel? Still not dead. Work. We can do this. 
is optimal. Locked on. Stay calm. Remember your training. Here we go. Did I get it? Oh, 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 oh. Hold on, where are... I thought you were here. What happened to you? Um, okay, where does the range of that thing end? Did we get knocked... We must have gotten knocked back by something. When we'd kill the one that was about to hit me or I thought I was out of range of that. You fucked hard. Yeah, I said it. I said fucked hard. No room for hesitation. Jesus Christ, dude. These maps are getting really fucking tough. Still not used to this thing. No need to worry. Still, please. Not so, son. Ridiculous. And there's only, like, there's only a few okay. things that are actually useful against armor. <sighs> Alright. about this man. I think we're screwed. This kind of damage wasn't ready to apologize. Shut up, stop. <laughs> Can they turn those off? They're pissing me off. It's like I know. What's the plan? She got knocked out of her sentinel? Okay, let's do this. Yeah, she's not flying anymore. My turn now. What's optimal? Still not used What's to the plan? Next move. The number two the terminal is warning. Terminal corruption rate increased. Nice. 
Now, these missiles, will they go after the Sentinel or will they go after him? If I pull him out right now, is he going to get... Yeah, he's going to get fucked. Cool. Okay, I just killed him. I think I just lost. Okay, let's do this. Well, hey, you know what? I'm pretty sure we were going to lose here anyway, so... Now I know. That's weird. Now she's... We'll make this, if only barely. Um. I don't know. Miracoon. No need to worry. The Sentinel can take a lot more punishment than that. Still, please. Not so, son. No room for hesitation. My turn now. Sentinel number eleven transmitted. Active. Don't waste any chances. Kind of have to do that. Good. Stay on guard. What? Thanks. Hey. What's the plan? I don't know if we deserve the win on this one, but I think no we barely I are going to get it. <laughs> number 21, on Here's the, the plan. Sentinel number 22, transmitted. Man, that was Back tense. The They're not messing around anymore. They're really not. Can we reach him? Mm, so optimal. close. Number 22, don't let up. advancing. Number 11, moving Stay out. Home. Remember your training. Target confirmed. Take that! Okay, let's do this. Yeah, How's that? Give it up. Termination of wow. enemy signals confirmed. Area 3 is not Aegis fucking around. Activated. Terminal closure complete. Surrounding 2 kilometer area now fully secure. Ending tactical analysis. We need to be careful while we fight. We're doing a lot more collateral damage than I thought. But I guess it goes to show. If we think tactically with Guardians and EMPs, we'll gain more ground than just by attacking. True enough. Against Apsos units, I'd recommend at least two EMP-capable Sentinels in the strike team. We'll need flares equipped, too. They're important for stopping missile assaults, Izumi -kun. I should start relying on that a little bit more. Um, Good missile point, barrages you know, seem to be a lot more common. We need all the offense we can muster, so we can't waste it shooting down missiles. Okay. We can't afford to lose this.
That's probably like Come hinting on. to us what we need to do for the next man, I'm pretty sure. Get used to that. <laughs> If only barely. We got pretty close to being immobilized. Like, really close. Okay. Let's unlock a couple more mysteries. Drone part bearing the manufacturing stamp of Shikishima Robotics. Its high-density silicon neuron circuits are shaped like a human brain. Now, we saw that that was a different uh, robot than BJ was, so this brain probably belonged to somebody else, interestingly enough. To now Android. We know quite a bit about that already. Okay. Now we get to pick somebody to do remembrance with, and ah, uh, you know who we're doing. We're doing Tomi Kisaragi. Let's finish this one out, huh? Uh -huh. Well, well. Well, well. Tomi Kisaragi searched Tokisaka Shrine for a way back to the future and witnessed Tsukasa Okino and Takatoshi Hijiyama using the gate. Okay, maybe talk to Juro? Oh, Miwako again. Usami chan! Would you like to get crepes on our way home? I'd love to, but I've kinda got somewhere to be. Mm, okay. Hey Juro. What's up, dude? Usami chan. Oh? You've been acting strange lately. Are you okay? You seem kind of stressed out. But you're just fine, right? Hey, I'm worried about you. Yuri chan! Shall we go home together? Sorry, I have plans. You too? Sorry, Miwa chan. It's okay. I'll go home by myself. Well, it's about that time. Yeah. I should head out too. See you, Miwa chan. Bye. Something up? You're staring. <clears throat> it's nothing. Miwako doesn't remember a thing. But maybe that's for the best. <sighs> Miwako! I'm heading out! <laughs> See you! Tokisaka, let's go. So is this gonna be us meeting up with Okino? Yep. There you are. Back at it again with the skirt and wig, huh? What a weirdo. Rude, Tony. I just didn't get a chance to change. As I said, this is a necessary disguise. Bold words for someone who can't be bothered to make it here on time. <laughs> sorry, sorry. So I guess Okino doesn't uh, necessarily uh, identify as female, right? Um, at the very least, Takatoshi always refers to Okino as a he, for the most part. So um, I don't think that there's like a preferred pronoun. Um, anyway, you're going to do this for me, right? <sighs> Let's go. Get in position. Uh. What? Kisaragi? Ami 
Kikuchi? What are you doing here? That's what I should be asking you. Well, whatever. Who's that little cutie? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hear that? You're a cutie, apparently. Okino's like, I know. I'm not complaining. <laughs> Natsuno! Hey, what are you doing? Stay back! They might be with the black suit guys. BJ says he knows them. Natsuno? I missed you, Natsuno. I'm so sad that we finished your story so early. You're one of my favorites. Usami! You're here too? Why? This little guy led me here. Sekigahara's robot? I see. The two of them will speed up the process. Hello, Okino. I am like this now, but... You're Miura. Sekigahara told me. What is your goal? To save the girl trapped in orbit. Then we are on the same path. Cool, okay. So you're here to help number 16 too? My own sentinel is there. Sentinel number 17. So that's how it is. Hmm. Both 16 and 17 were put into orbit. They went to an unknown man-made artifact in space. We've briefly gotten a hold of it from here. But we don't quite understand what it is. Number 16 would know the answer. Last time we got through to her when I touched something over there. But now... It won't respond. Not even with Kisaragi's biometric ID. She's completely inaccessible now. You, Amiguchi, may know the reason. Because of what Ida did? You want to know why? Ida did it himself. Yep. He shut down her sentinel. Ida, huh? Yeah. Something about authorization? He must have used his security authorization to issue the command. So that's what happened. You created these sentinels. Now, the sentinel access code was given to Shu. I'm surprised that that didn't also take away um, Ida's access to the terminal, but... Perhaps you can clear the authorization. Worth a try. Help me out. So, why are you here? I can't turn down a cry for help. Especially not from the one and only Miyuki Inaba. I mean, Gucci kun surprised me enough as it is. But seriously, you too, Usami? I can't believe you're all time traveling. This is actually where I'm from. <laughs> Whoa, you came from the future? Does anyone else know about this stuff? So they haven't put it together yet. Let's see. Yuki chan from Class 1A. Miura kun too. What? That guy? That guy. Miyuki Inaba? You mean that idol? Well, yeah. She talked to me through a TV program. You guys call her number 16, but she's actually another you. <laughs> no, no big deal. No comment about that, huh? <laughs> Tomi's like, eh, who cares? Okay, here's her reaction. It sounded it. a little different in the style of the 80s. But it's just like when I sang back in middle school. And Inaba. That's my username. <laughs> I became an idol? Seriously? The preparations are complete. Kisaragi. As you scan your ID to grant access, the authorization will be reset, and the Sentinel will reboot. Go ahead and unlock it. Here goes. No good? The Sentinel started up normally. Thank you. 
We all came to save you. Sorry it's a little late. Thank you. Access is clear. Don't worry. Universal Control doesn't suspect a thing. To it, this appears to be a simple video broadcast. So you're... Miyuki Inaba? Also known as Tomi Kisaragi. Just like you. Please tell me, what is all this? What's going on? I would like information as well. Do you trust me? Well, you're me, right? I won't get anywhere if I can't even trust myself. I was shifted to the orbiting command ship. Command ship? For the second phase of the Interstellar Development Project. It's an artificial satellite that presides over terraforming. Terraforming? What does artificial satellite mean? That's a weird... artificial satellite? Just why, is it like run by AI? The very ground you stand on is proof. The second phase was a resounding success. No way! So the D-forces were used to develop land? Originally, yes. They were designed as heavy machinery for that purpose. You mean, it's really true? We're not on planet Earth. Huh? I've seen it with my own eyes. The whole city's less than 30 kilometers long. I thought it was on a spaceship, though. Unbelievable. What about the other countries I've been investigating? Universal Control alters the information you receive. It does whatever's necessary to make things appear consistent. Shukun is telling the truth. From here, I can see the entirety of the residential ward system. All of the terminal controls, too. You're able to control the satellite from your Sentinel? It does have some limitations, of course. But it is possible. Because... I'm Tomi Kizaragi. Hell yeah, you are. She's the one who designed the second phase of interstellar development. Oh, cool. That's interesting. She was a terraforming researcher. Watch this log of hers. Ooh, yes. We get to see Prime Kisaragi. February 8th, 2188. Continuing my report from yesterday. Damn, girl, you look great. Hell yeah. I ran the simulation. This was our 25th terraforming attempt. We believe the planet is a Type 57B. In order to reach a habitable state for humanity, the process took 1,800 years. A bit longer than hoped. Jesus. No further issues up to this point. Oh, and I almost forgot. At Professor Morimura's suggestion. So if there is, like, a version of these characters who are on Earth, they would be very, very old. But I'm not sure if that's the case or not. So does that mean that you are, like, descendants upon of descendants of descendants that have been in space working on this project? I updated the system on the command ship. It's set to monitor the final phase. Surface facilities. Before any harm may come to these facilities, it will determine whether the final phase needs to be redone. The final phase is surface facilities. Before any harm may come to these facilities, it will determine whether the final phase needs to be redone. Okay. As the professor always says, it can't hurt to be safe. Work has been coming along well, but I honestly can't wait to return to the surface. Uh, what was that? A log from Tony Kizaragi in the year 2188. She said some curious things. Like redoing the final phase. You heard correctly. There's no turning back. Well, what now? The command ship will fall below the horizon soon. We'll be disconnected for quite a while. Are there any measures we can take? 
Yes. But I believe there's only one way through this. And what's that? Universal control. It needs to be altered. Gotta get rid of that game code. Hey, you got it, girl. So is that Tomy cleared? It is. Oh, man. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Okay, so you're unlocked. So, like, everybody except for Goto are kind of, like, on their last ones, huh? That's what, it, that's what it appears. Okay, so with Tomy done, maybe let's do Shinonome? Ryoko Shinonome recalled the time she bid farewell to Tetsuya Ida when he was trying to reset the world in order to save Tomi Kisaragi. Yes. Easy, take your time. Do you know where you are? Shinonome-san? Do you know what year it is? 1985. What's the last thing you remember? 426. He got away from me. I won't let him escape next time. I see. All right. How are you feeling? My head really hurts. Maybe I should keep you here for further observation. My internal clock just needs a bit to readjust. You're putting too much of a burden on your nervous system. You need to stop shifting. Do you still have your pills? Make sure you're taking them. This isn't good. You need to take your pills right now. S surveillance footage? That's right. I saw something important. I can't remember. Maybe I should go look again. It was in Shikishima's underground facility in 2105. I just need to get to the gate. They said the gate's been sealed, but what if it's a lie? A way to try and keep me here. <sighs> this should make me feel a little better. I need to go back. You can't time travel right now. But I need to fix the Sentinels before the invasion begins. You can't stop me. I need to go after him. I'm not trying to stop you. We just can't use the gate right now. Take it easy, all right? The invaders appeared in 2064. They destroyed the world. But they won't stop. They're coming for us here, too. Take those when your headaches start to get back. Miss Morimura, are you still overworking her? I've had no choice. And you are? Rinya Goto, a second year, like you. I've been assigned to offer you support. Interesting. So this is like earlier in her story then. Unless she forgot him in between. It's a pleasure to be working with you. I don't need any help. I can do this on my own. It's too dangerous for you. Please, go with him. This isn't 2065. You will follow my orders. Gotokun, I leave her to you. Understood. So this is her wanting to go after 426, who 
at the beginning of her story that she thought was Seki Gahara. We're counting on you. Why can't we time travel right now? The gate has been sealed by someone. I'm looking into it. The gate is locked. There's only one person who could have done it. It's him. It has to be. 426. The one that set up the gates in the first place. So we're stuck here? So In the past? Is, does that mean that Prime Seki Gahara had to do with creating the gates then? From what we've heard, he's a... Uh, he's like a hitman, so... It's only a matter of time before 426 makes contact with someone. I need the list of those who are compatible. Unless we're... Like, she thinks it's Seki Gahara, right? But we know it's uh, Original Juro, so maybe Original Juro was the one who set up the gates. Of course. That includes the people of this era, too. I'll see what I can do. Juro Prime. There's no other option. If we don't find him, the result will be worse than anything we imagined. <sighs> or would you rather... I go ask the students, one by one. <sighs> Fine. The file is on my desk. It isn't everyone, but... It does list those who are compatible at the school. Interesting that her last one is like her first, is basically her first in the so timeline. This is it. The plan to gather all the compatible ones. Four girls, including myself. Wait, only girls? Fuyusaka and files are only for the girls. That's all we have here. Gotokun has information on the boys. You can consult with him. Tell me who the compatible boys are. Certainly. But there's something I'd like to ask you first. I wonder, why do you hate 426 so much? Are you serious? The fate of the world is at stake. Even so, I sense your hatred stems from something else. <laughs> the reason for your animosity towards 426. I would like to hear about it. Because he ruined the Sentinels. Because he destroyed my home. That thing deserves no sympathy. Yeah, so she's referring to Juro Prime. 426 is not human. He's an AI created in the future. And now he calls himself A. Sekigahara. We know that's just wrong. I see. Where did she get that impression, though? I wonder if we'll learn that. If A. Sekigahara isn't 426, then who's the one that messed with the Sentinels? Tell me who the compatible boys are. 426 could try and contact one of them. You or have no maybe idea. He already has. <laughs> How about According jumping in one of their heads? Wall, it is time for lunch. They should be in the cafeteria now. Let's go. I'm feeling deja vu of some sort. Before I go, maybe I should sort out my thoughts. I don't... If... I'll fix it as soon as I can. If I get any information on him, I'll let you know immediately. Where are you going? Probably a bad idea to leave that thing on like that, huh? <laughs> Just saying. Surveillance footage? Oh, I so 
Uh, something important. Maybe this isn't. Maybe this is at the end of her timeline and she just forgot and they're just playing over the same shit again. The cord. Is that a possibility? Yeah, I'm not sure. No, I, I think this is early in the time, earlier in the timeline. What are you doing? Mori Mora. I locked the gate. You won't be able to use it. I knew it. It was you. You disabled the gates, not 426. Stop being ridiculous. You need to take your pills. I won't let those damn mind-controlling pills screw with my head anymore! Who told you that? I saw it for myself. You're trying to mess with both me and Iori Fuyusaka's heads. She's getting worse. Hmm. One second it seems like this is early in her timeline, and the next second I think she's just forgotten. Yeah. The code that infected the Sentinels in 2064. It separates the nanomachines from the rest of your brain. Your memories will keep disappearing. Those pills you've been taking, they inhibit that separation. They try to preserve the link. But its effectiveness has been gradually decreasing. No, I won't believe anything you say. Where's Renya Goto? Are you screwing him up too? It was you, you know. <gasps> you were the cause of the infection. You inserted the code that 426 created. Hmm. Now she's referring to Prime Her, though. We know that Prime Her was probably the one who did that. No. Just more lies. So it seems rather. Yeah, it. That's pretty dirty of Mori Murr to say it's her when we know it's actually a different version of her. It's true. Goto. Unless there's something I don't know. You were conspiring with Mori Mura this whole time? I've told you the truth a number of times, but you weren't able to accept it. You couldn't hold on to the memory. That's a lie. You messed me up with those pills. You made me confused. It's all there. You just have to remember. The code that infected the Sentinels. DD-426. You were the one that gave it to Sekigahara. You're lying. Mr. Ida. For you to ask for me personally? I can't tell you how happy it made me. I've been waiting. I need you to look at this. Okay. So you have something to do with this, whereas Prime Ryoko had something to do with something else, apparently. An interlocutor update? Code DD426. The nanomachines within you. There is a flaw in the program. It is inhibiting you from unlocking the full extent of their power. But there exists a code to fix it. A flaw? If we implement this, the Sentinel's capabilities will increase greatly. Mori Morrison, however, does not agree. Ooh, Ida, you are dirty, man. So he gets her to do this. She gives the code to Seki Gahara, and Seki Gahara puts it in. Why? It sounds she like. believes the Sentinels are more than capable as they are. Ugh. Why is she like that? She's always going against you, Mr. Ida. If only everyone was as understanding as you. I want us to give this code a try. It'll be our little secret, of course. And then, Morimura-san will see who was right. All you have to do is put this code into the Sentinel. Okay, I'll do it. An 
Improvement to the Sentinel, huh? Ryoko-san. What was Ida talking to you about? Nothing that concerns you. Guess I'm still just some kid that lives nearby, huh? Akon. <sighs> like siblings. A fourth wave is approaching. We need to get ready. So when she forgets, does Ida then tell her that it was Seki Gahara who did it to put them at odds with each other? I'll put DD426 into number 14. Or I'll put it into number 15. Which is Miura? Sentinel. I believe that's the one that has Miura uh, right. AI in it. And now, Akun will know it too. Do you remember? After you shifted, you went missing. It took a long time to get you back. When we finally did, your condition was already terminal. We've been able to keep it at bay with the medication, but the destruction of your memories has already begun. For you, we tried to reinforce your memories with nanomachines, but it hasn't gone well. We thought if we let you roam free, that your memories would stabilize. However, your memories kept failing. It only made you become further detached from reality. Even still, it is imperative that you remember. Only you can clear the infection within the Sentinels. Because only you know the password. We don't have much time. Please. You must remember. Stop! It's all my fault. It can't be. And then when you forgot, you blame Seki Gahara because his was the one that had the code in it to begin with, but you were the one who put it in. Oh, that's rough. Why? That's rough, girl. You're awake. Who are you? Try and remember. Akon? That's right. I... I can't remember my name. Ryoko Shinonome. Is that my name? It doesn't sound familiar. Oh, oh right. I need to find... What was I looking for again? I can't remember. You don't have to anymore. You don't have to look for anything, Ryoko-san. More importantly, how are you feeling? I feel... good. Refreshed. Peaceful, even. <sighs> Maybe it's just not possible. The nanomachines linked to her memory have all separated. She barely has any memories left. Jesus. The memories you implanted in her. What are they? We did the same for all of you. When you were connected to the learning devices, you gained the knowledge needed to control the sentinels and the gates. Those memories were backed up in case there was an accident. So she has her memories of what happened before the incident? No, not all of them. We only backed up those which pertain to learning. So all she knows is how to control the Sentinel. Jesus. Ryoko-san. The password to remove the infection. Gone, along with the rest of her memories. We can no longer rely on the Sentinels. How so do they get it. the code? You're giving up? There is still one way to use the Sentinels. No. A further exposure to the infection. And there's no guarantee you'll survive. He's not talking about himself. After everything you've taken from her, it still isn't enough. 
I won't let you put her in the Sentinel. No. No, Akun. Sentinel number 14. It was made just for me, by Mr. Ida. Oh, man. It's my Sentinel. Ryoko-san. Well, that's fucking tragic. I won't let anyone else fight for me. Fuck you, Ida. The way he used her is fucking disgusting. Poor girl's broken. So she's basically lost all of her memories. That's sad. Damn. All right, well, on that sad note, we're going to have to end things here. So thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And in the next one, we're probably going to start looking at Renya Goto. Have a good one, everybody.